Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you another awesome recipe that you can add to your veggie menu to help you in your overall high growth journey. Now, this is a high growth oil that you can use on a weekly basis, perhaps twice a week, to help you with grow bald spots, thicken your edges, or just generally help you to just thicken your hair and keep it as healthy as it can possibly be. So if you're interested, definitely be sure to watch and I'll suggest you watch till the end of the video. So you get to see all of the ingredients, steps and also instructions on how you can use it. Now before we get into the video, I just want to take a minute just to say a huge thank you for all our new subscribers honestly we've grown so much in the last few days and i just want to welcome you all to this channel thank you so much for subscribing and for supporting my channel and i hope that you guys love it here i know that you will love it here because i do have a post weekly awesome high growth recipes that will help you in your high growth journey so if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for support and if you're new here and you're still thinking about subscribing please go ahead and subscribe because you will definitely love it here i have brand new recipes every single week so yeah tune in for that so that you don't miss out on any good content now let's hop right into the video so to begin with guys we are going to need some rosemary now this is the normal rosemary that you get from your grocery store now rosemary is very very beneficial because it helps to stimulate blood, blood circulation to the scalp and this can help in promoting new high growth it also has anti-inflammatory properties which helps to nourish your high follicles and essentially help to soothe and inflame scalp as well it adds shine and luster to the hair too so we put some rosemary in a little pot next we're going in here with some cloves so this is clove powder essentially it's whole cloves that i went ahead and grinded in my grinder but if you have clove powder please feel free to use that so i will be using everything because that's basically all that i have left so i would suggest you use two tablespoons of clove powder if if you've got it or if you have whole cloves just go ahead and grind it so cloves have high levels of antioxidants and nutrients that can add to the growth and strength of our hair it also can be used to protect the scalp from dandruff which is the cause of weak and thin hair um so next we're going in here with some fenugreek seeds again i grinded it in my grinder guys but if you've got the powder same thing please go ahead and use it Fenugreek seeds help to boost um, cuticle integration in your hair shaft. So essentially it helps to promote thicker hair growth. It also has great benefits when it comes to, again, just giving you a healthy scalp, preventing that itchiness. And also it can be really moisturizing for the hair as well. So I think I added about two tablespoons of fenugreek um, seeds or fenugreek powder. Next, I'm going in here with some um, coconut oil. Um, now the reason why I'm using coconut oil guys is because we are going to add direct heat to this So if you are going to use olive oil for example I would suggest that you do the double boiler method instead of doing what I'm going to do later on Because that will allow you to preserve most of the nutrients in the oil and also prevent oxidization So next I'm going in with some corn oil But you can also use avocado oil rapeseed oil, grapeseed oil or any other oil of your choice as long as you know it has a high heat point so I pop the whole thing on the stove on pretty low heat you want to make sure that your heat is quite low guys and you want to go ahead and stir occasionally until you notice that your um, your rosemary has kind of become a little bit crispy and kind of darker in color and also you notice that the oil is changing color right so you want to turn off your stove now corn oil is one of those oils that are not often used in DIYs but it's also very very good to use in your DIYs guys because it's very good at helping you lock the, the moisture in your hair and essentially helping preventing um, dryness especially when you apply them to your ends. It also is a natural emollient so this will help to moisturize your scalp and your hair by keeping the follicles hydrated and well nourished. So don't sleep on corn oil guys, it is definitely a good oil to use in your DIY as well. So if you see it in your supermarket, pick it up 
and use it for your DIY oils because it is just as nourishing for your hair as any other oil. So after I turn off the stove guys, I'm just transferring it into this little jar. Of course, make sure that you allow it to cool down because you don't want to get burnt. Um, so I'm just transferring the whole thing in this jar, including the um, the rosemary. And I'm just going to close the jar and allow it to infuse overnight. I just feel like this will make it infuse a little bit better, especially when it comes to like the fenugreek seeds because I didn't really quite get it to be that powdery. Um, and also you don't want to allow this to sit on the stove for too long so I'd say two minutes if, if that even is enough so you just want to infuse it a little bit and then continue the infusion process you know um, a little bit later so the next day is ready to strain so I will be just using a recap for this um, but use whatever you've got that works for you guys so just pour the mixture on there and just allow the oil to drain So here we have it. Next, I'm going to go in with some essential oils. So I'm using rosemary essential oil here and also I will be using uh, tea tree essential oils. Now these are great again at increasing the blood flow to scalp but also at just giving you a healthy scalp in general, especially the tea tree essential oil. This has antimicrobial properties which just means it it takes away you know all the bacteria that you may have in your scalp which can later on cause problems so it's also good to have in your you know your oil that you use on a regular basis especially if you're putting it on your scalp to help you perhaps with grow bald spots or just thicken your hair in general because that will not only stimulate hair uh, hair growth around that area but it will also help to protect your scalp essentially so after stirring that i'm now transferring into uh, this mason jar in which I will be storing the oil and also I will be using on my hair So the way that you would use this will be twice to three times a week So apply directly to the area that needs help and make sure that you incorporate massages guys It's also very important to massage your scalp on a regular basis because it increases the blood flow which then helps You know in hair growth. You can also use it as a hot oil treatment if you want to so just heat it up and apply it to your to your hair and scalp before your wash day essentially so this brings me to the end of the video i hope that you guys have enjoyed watching and if you did please please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up i would really appreciate that and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already I, again i would appreciate that and i'll catch you guys in my next video see you next time bye